All right, I have been thinking and thinking on how to come up with the best pig water for a large amount of pigs that we're gonna have out on pasture or in the woods, something like that where they're not always laying in their tub, just making a mess. that I have just come up with it. It just hit me. I'm gonna take this drum right here, this is just a mineral tub, and I'm gonna cut it down. Boom! Cut it with a chainsaw, real quick and easy. Next, we're gonna start assembling the part. All right, so for this project, I've got this blue mineral tub. You'll need one bag of quick creep. You'll need three pig nipples if you're going to do it just like I'm doing it you'll need one four-way connector I've got six nineties I've got three three inch nipples and then I've also got three nine inch nipples and we're going to assemble this and you'll understand exactly how it's all going to work you're also going to need some sort of way to attach a water hose to it or whatever you're going to use to get your water supply to it this here is just something i had laying around that works perfect we're going to wrap our thread tape around add just a little bit of thread dope thread sealant and let's get started i'm going to go ahead and use a vise here Make sure everything's good and snug. Don't want no water leaks in this once it's poured. All right, got those on. A little thread sealing on that. Now we're going to start with our 90s. Screw them on tight. All right, that looks level by the eyeball. Now we're going to go with these the nine inch nipples all right we got the three long nipples on there now we're going to put another 90 on all right we went ahead and we got all our 90s in there we turned them offset of each other that's going to be a key thing. Now we put the, the nipples, the pig nipples in there. But to get them tight, and I'm going to have to take this out and do each one of these independently. We're drilling the hole to get that piece in there. Now are you seeing it come together? We can get it in the vise, tighten our last piece up here. And put the concrete to it. I am going to go ahead and lift it up. That way I got concrete underneath it. Setting level.
All right, we got that in there. Put our handle down in it. Spread everything around nice and pretty. The concrete has had time to cure. It is ready to go to the field. I put a handle in it so you can carry it around out, out wherever you got it, but I got a little bit of a track to get there. I'm going to put it on this dolly and get it out to the pigs. So we did use 80 pounds of concrete in here, so this thing is kind of heavy. But the pigs ain't going to move it around. Quit. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Right, I'm going to feed that through the fence. Without mess with it. All right, let's hook it up. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> They're already trying it. What y'all think? Turn it on, see what they do. Oh yeah. And they have water. But if you'll see, I didn't fill this tub all the way up with concrete. That way what they did spill, some of them may end up drinking it out of there. Yep, they're dead. All right, so that is just one of the few options on waters for pigs. Pigs are kind of hard to come up with a good watering system for. Um, that is our newest one. Now, of course, a pond's good, but if you don't have that option, there's a 55 gallon drum option. And I put a pig nipple water on the bottom. I've got that setting about uh, two to three inches off the bottom there. And then sometimes you'll want to set that up on a tire, but if you got baby piglets, you'll want it sitting on the ground so they can get to it real easy. The bigger they get, I've set it up on top of a wheel and a tire just to raise it up a little bit. I think they're drinking water just for fun. This right here is another great option. It's a tank. It's got a filter down here. And then down in here, you've got two separate compartments. This one down here's got a float. Only allows so much water in there. And they can drink from both sides. But definitely one thing's for sure, wherever you water, you're going to want to move that every once in a while, depending on how many pigs you've got and how much acreage you've got to move it around on. But the more you leave it there, they're just going to tear all that ground up, make a wallow there. Just so that's one reason I like that uh, new design that I built. When I'm ready to move it, all I got to do is turn the water off to it, pick it up and move it. Something like this or the 55 gallon drum, you either got to dump the water out or time it just right for when the water's empty out of it then move it 